Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called Santa Tell Me by Ariana Grande. And, and there's this cool little lick actually on the intro actually where, where you may want to play 7th fret on the high E, 3rd fret on the high E, 5th fret on the high E, and then 3rd fret on the B string. So we're kind of following a B note to a G note to an A note to a D note. And randomly it's kind of backed up with kind of a G chord. And we'll talk more about the, the chords in a moment. But you could even kind of throw in an open G string when you play that first seventh fret on the high E to kind of back it up and kind of get a little bit of a bass presence. And we do that three times with kind of that um, G bass. And then you may want to even, and I know this is a stretch, but you could do third fret on the A string with the seventh fret on the high E string to kind of support almost kind of like a change to a C major chord. So all together, that, that might be kind of a cool lick to kind of follow, to kind of open in three together. And I'm, I'm doing that hybrid picking. I'm using my pick for my bass and my fingers for the other notes of the lick. Seven, three, five, three, oh, and seven. Three, five, three, oh, and seven. Three, five, three, three, and seven. Three, five, three. Or you could just kind of follow the chords and you start on a G major chord. And normally you do that first finger on the A second, the second finger on the low E third, third finger on the high E third, and if you strum all those together, ah, the heavy sounds of G major. Now, you may also dig on putting third finger on the B third, pinky on the high third. That might be kind of a cool option for the G major. And actually, even on the intro, actually, there's these cool changes around the Gs through the song. Where you may want to use the regular G major chord. But then if you took your third finger and kind of slid it back one fret, and that could be a stretch. But that may, gives you a G major seven chord. You could even kind of readjust the fingers, first finger on the A second, second finger on the high E second, third finger on the low E third. That makes it easier to get to. And then you may want to make a change to a G7 chord by doing first finger on the high E first fret, second finger on the A second, third finger on the low E third. You get a G7 going on, which really helps point to a C major chord. Normally you do that first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second, third finger on the A third. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now around C's in general, it can be cool to lift the first finger and make that a C major seven. Or you could add in the pinky on the B third for a C major nine. Kind of say some stuff around the C chord. Or another way to play C major nine would be doing first finger on the D second, second finger on the A third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. And kind of working that for your C major. That might be kind of a cool option. If you're looking for some easier ways, and for the G major 7, G7, if that, that seems too much for you, you could always just kind of play G major. That always kind of works as a substitute for the major 7 and the dominant 7. And there's a couple different strumming options you may want to play around with. You could do kind of a down count idea, kind of G, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, G major 7, G7. So I'm doing eight downs on each chord. C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That kind of an idea. Or you can use a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the G and just tried that a lot. You got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up. So we tried that through our intro progression. We have the G, G major 7. Myself, I was really digging on something called the 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the G and do a down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. And then on the third beat, you do an up on two, down on three. So kind of one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you go down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four. So all together, yeah, down, 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 down,
something to practice. So you have G, G major 7, G7, C, that's the really intro. And then from there, then we hit our main chorus part. And we start on G major. First finger on the A second, second finger on the D second. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really sad. Now you may also dig on putting third finger on the B third, pinky on the high third. I mean that E minor seven. That might make that change a little bit easier from the C major non if you're digging on that to the E minor seven. And then from there we'd be going to a D major chord. And normally you do that first finger on the G second, second finger on the high E second, third finger on the B third. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, ah, uh, the heavy sounds of D major. Now, around Ds in general, it can be cool to lift the second finger. Always a fun finger to lift. That makes a D sus too. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended and kind of say some stuff around it. And through the chorus, actually, you could even work kind of like an, an accented down stroke, actually. Kind of a G with a down, kill it. And then a down, down, kill it. Kind of an idea. Almost like three big hits, actually. G. G, G, C, 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 E minor, D e minor, D, G might be kind of a cool way to work. I'm just kind of throwing my right hand down the string to kind of kill it. That kind of an idea. So you may want to play around with that. Or you could work just kind of the down idea. Kind of G, C, if you just want to kind of back up your voice, the A down count could be very cool. Or you could use the down, down, up, up, down, up. for our chorus and then we go into our verse part and our verse kind of brings back a little piece of the intro and we end up repeating that twice and this, the last time through actually you hear this cool little bass line where you can play third foot on the low E, open A, third foot on the low E, and then third foot on the A, second on the A, and then third foot on the A, and then open D. So if you wanted to you could kind of follow those bass notes and G, A, G, C, B, C, D, kind of through that part. Or if you wanted to back that up with chords, you start on the G chord, and then we go to C, but then you might want to go to a B minor chord. And we'll talk about some really easy ways to, to do this. But normally you would do B minor as a second fret bar, second finger on the B third, third finger on the D fourth, pinky on the G fourth. And if you strum all those together, ah, the sad sounds of B minor. Now you may also dig on lifting the pinky and making that a B minor 7. Or another way to play B minor 7, we're we doing first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high second. Or especially if you're digging on that C major non voicing, you may want to do B minor as kind of a drone voicing B minor. Kind of first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. And now we've only got a couple fingers to move from the B minor to the C chord to lead into the D at the very end. Or randomly, you could even take the B minor drum and just lift the pinky, and that would be a B minor 11 if you kind of dig the open E strat sound. That could be cool too. So we tried that with our down idea. The weird part is the B minor C, and you may want to do kind of a four down count on each of those chords, and then kind of do your whole count on the D. So we tried it that way. We got G. Or C, you may want to do just a down, down up on each of those chords, or you could split them and do the B minor with a down, down, and then hit the C for the up, up, down, up. So on that last part of the phrase, you have the G, C, B minor, C, D, very end of the verse. Or if you're doing the 16th idea, you could work the B minor C as just the down, down, down up. Kind of a half pattern idea. Or if you're really adventurous, you could split the pattern and do the B minor with the down, 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 up, and then go to the C for up, up, down, down, up, down, up, and then do the D with the whole pattern. So you have G, C, half of B minor. To 
our chorus part. Now, one other thing I think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, at the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw a bass note in for the chord. So on the G, you have low E for the bass. On the C, you have the A for the bass. On the E minor, you have low E for the bass. And on the D, you have the D for the bass. And on the B minor chord, you have the A for the bass. So we try that next chorus with the bass down, up, up, down, up. You have the G. down up up down up we have our G G major seven starts with it with kind of half an E minor and we kind of do our four down count and then a D with a four down count but then you may want to do a C with a six count kind of one two three four five six and then hit a D for the last two so it's a little weird our CD kind of halves a different way and we got E minor two three four D two three four C two three four five six D and then we got E minor do this first finger on the D first fret, second finger on the A second, third finger on the G second, pinky on the high E second. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, ah, uh, the nasty sounds of B7, love it. Um, now you may also take on taking the third finger and flatten them over the G, B, and E, and kind of making that a B9, we kind of a cool option of that too. We kind of do our half count on the B7, and then we go to a G for half the count, but then we go to an A major chord. You do this first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B second. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that can be your clearest sound out. It's called A major. Now, you may also dig on lifting the third finger, that A sus two, or you can add in the pinky on the B third and then suspend it and kind of say some stuff around it. Or actually, you'll definitely hear the A string on the fourth fret C sharp note come out on that chord. So you may want to take the first finger, kind of bar the D, G, and B strings on the second fret and get the third of the fourth finger to go to the A string fourth fret for the C sharp note. So it's called A slash C sharp or an A major with a C sharp in the bass. And then we kind of do half count on that, and then we end up on our C with our whole count, and then our D with our whole count. So it can be 
a little weird. Um, if you're doing the down, down, up, up, down, up, the weirdest part I think is, is where you've got the C, D changes. And you may want to do kind of a down, down, up, and then another up on the C, and then go to the D for the last down, up. So you have kind of your E minor, D, and then C, down, down, up, up, D, E minor, D, C, down, down, up, up, E, E minor, E7, G, A, slash C sharp, C, D. And randomly, you could add basses to that. And you have E minor, D. taking on sixteenth, um, the weirdest part is like where you got the C D changes and you may want to do the down, 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 up, up, down, and save that last down up down up for that last D chord. So we try it that way. Now the E minor D C Ideas like the E minor D. You, you could do just a bass down, down up with the bass idea. Or if you're really adventurous, you could do E minor with the bass down, down up, and then go to the D for the up bass down up. of how you can strum through Santa Tell Me by Ana Grande. So, good luck and Merry Christmas. Hi, wherever you are in YouTube land, this is Munson Summer with Munson Music Live, Munson Guitar Songs, Munson Covers, and Munson Jam Tracks. Thanking you for watching this video and I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel to see lots more like it. I'm always open to your requests. If you have the song that you love, please let me know so I can write it down on the request list so I can add that to it because there are probably other people out there who love that song too and would love to learn how to play it. So thanks so much for all the love that you give me and I hope that you're doing well and, and kind of figuring out how you can talk with the, the instrument. Um, we are a small music shop in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina, and, and you're supporting us by, by watching this channel. Really appreciate all that love. So best of luck, and, I, and let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you in, in particular, too. Uh, you can contact me on Facebook. Um, you can leave a message here in the comments section, and I'm, I, I respond to all the comments that, that I get. So best of luck to you wherever you are.